Harper and I'm a director for film and television. I started out and I wanted to be a musician, but I realised that all my friends were quite a lot better at, at, at it than I was. So I thought, mm, this isn't so good, I don't want to be the loser here. So I thought, I'm going to try something else. So I made a short film and it wasn't great, but I did really, really love it. And so um, I thought, that's what I wanted to pursue. And so I went and I did university, I went to university and studied drama. Um, and while I was there I did some theatre and I did made some other short films and they weren't great but as I continued they got better and um, eventually after making a lot of not very good short films I made one that was pretty good and that went on and it went to lots of festivals and it went around the world and it won some awards and that was a sort of springboard onto becoming a professional director. Well the very early ones were just on like not very good cameras or whatever we could get our hands on and then one after that we uh, scrimped and saved and we did like fundraising gigs and you know using all my musicians that were, were good and uh, and we just sort of like and I, I wrote letters to all my family and borrowed a whole lot of money and and we scraped together I think it was about two grand and we shot it and we managed to shoot it on film and it took me about two years to do and I finished it and it wasn't that good and so uh, actually in hindsight what I think I should have done is use that money to make a lot of different films and, uh, uh, and at that stage, it was just about kind of developing and getting better and improving. Mostly my films were made for no money, and then gradually after I'd made more and more, we got a bit of money. And, and that film, the first film that, that did really well and went around the world, was actually made for quite a lot of money, it was £9,000. And we got that from, um, from uh, the UK Film Council at the time and Film London. But, although it's cost £9,000, a lot of that money went n not on the screen, for example, it had a fox in it and whilst everyone, all the crew and all the cast worked for free, the fox was non-negotiable. Like that fox charged us £500 a day and there was no bargaining. So like a grand went on the fox and we had these dogs in it as well. Another grand went on the dogs. So like of that nine grand, which seems quite a lot of money, actually it went on strange things. And then another grand of it went on the print. And so in terms of actually shooting the film, it didn't cost that much, but there was just a few things that we couldn't get around. In order to kind of learn about the festival circuit, there's, I think I used the um, British uh, Council website and that kind of showed me like uh, when the deadlines for all the festivals were. And like right from way back when, when I started making my first shorts, I sent them all out there. And it's, it's quite expensive, you know. I never really went for the ones that charge a submission fee, but even just sent postage-wise, it, it, it all clocks up. And I never really got a bite on it, but I did sort of get to know the kind of the lay of the land and, and understand what the good festivals were and see what the, 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 you know, the ideally the right ones to be in would be. And so we just kind of continued it and, like, and, then, and then pubs which did go around the world, my producer and I between us would sit down of an evening and just package it up and send off the DVD and hope for the best. And, but it was interesting, you know, that one got traction quite early and I think once you get in one, you know, the way these things work is once you get in one festival, Everyone goes and sees it, and then it leads to other festivals. And so even just being in one good festival leads to a whole uh, load of invites to other festivals. So you know, once, you get, once you're able to make your mark, it's a lot easier. After I'd made Cubs, and that had received quite a lot of traction, you know, I was hoping, I suppose, it would immediately lead to a whole load of um, job offers and opportunities. And it, it took a bit longer than that, really. It was, it was a slow process, and it still took kind of a hustle and a bit of time. And, um, but, but it did certainly um, expose me to the right people and, um, and it put me in a position where I was able to hustle better than I was before. I, I suppose it just kind of put me in the next rung up the ladder where people would take me seriously as a director and, and, and though it still took a little while, the opportunities did start coming in. Yeah. If I had to give one piece of advice, I think it would be, you know, if you want to be a director then you've got to be directing, so that means you've got to get out there and, and, and make films and it doesn't matter whether that's on a mobile phone or whether that's on a digital camera that you can blag or whether you're able to cozy up with Ari and borrow their Alexa or even if you can just pick up a Super 8 camera. Whatever, whatever means that you have, you have to get out there and be making films and telling stories because at the end of the day that's the only way you're really going to uh, kind of get that experience. Currently I'm working on a Richard Curtis film for Working Titles and we are looking to see that this autumn and uh, yeah it's a rom-com about a American actor and a Chinese actress and it's really brilliant and I can't wait and it lends happily ever after. <laughs>